When we talk about biodiversity today, it is crucial that we are able to determine and to classify this biodiversity clearly. This is also the background of the Barcoding Fauna Bavarica project, where we try to create a tool that allows us to identify species much easier in the future, and last but not least, at less expense. In Bavaria, there exist around 35,000 species of animals, and almost every habitat that exists in Germany can also be found here. Therefore, Bavaria is the state with the largest biodiversity. Scientists of the Bavarian State Collection of Zoology are on their way to collect samples. Their goal is to record all species existing in Bavaria in a genetic library. The first focus point lies on species with a high environmental relevance. In this case, larvae of mayflies are collected. They are, for example, needed for environmental reports. The presence of particular species allows to draw conclusions about the condition of a water. Aquatic species are of particular relevance for nature conservation. Thus, all caddisflies, stoneflies, mayflies, naturally many aquatic beetles and bugs, and particularly the larvae of dragonflies, are requested for environmental evaluations. The genome database is not only of a high eco-political interest, but also of great value to science. The classification of species is revolutionized by state-of-the-art methods. The database is being compiled with the help of DNA barcoding. Not unlike the regular consumer product barcode, the DNA barcode allows to relate each animal clearly to a specific species. In this process, a certain section of DNA, the so-called CO1 gene, is used. Every animal possesses this gene, although in every species it differs in some base pairs. In order to obtain the DNA of each animal species, the scientists can also access the extensive archives of the state collection. But the genotype of many animals in the collection is already too severely damaged. In many cases, they can no longer be used for genetic analysis since they have been conserved improperly or they are just too old. Therefore, collecting new animals is indispensable. Samples submitted to the State Collection of Zoology are foremost examined according to their affiliation to the species specified by the collector. In order to obtain the genetic information, a tissue sample is taken from each individual, such as seen here from a water beetle. A root of a hair, a scale of a fish, or as in this case, the leg of a beetle, is sufficient. The samples are conserved and transferred to the cooperative partner in Canada. Here, the DNA is first being isolated and then amplified. The next step requires the help of a sequencer. It recognizes the sequence of the base pairs of the CO1 gene, which makes it possible to distinguish the animal species. The obtained genetic codes are being fed into the International Barcode of Life database. It collects barcodes worldwide and offers a platform for the quick identification of species. So what is the advantage of DNA barcoding compared to species identification based on external traits? The areas of application are extensive. One example can be found in the area of food control. Is that really the species of fish on the label that is being sold, or another? Another example is the identification of insect larvae, which was barely possible until now. With the help of barcodes, these larvae can now be clearly assigned to the adults. The recognition of so far undescribed species is also being made easier. Since the beginning of the barcoding fauna Bavarica project in 2009, Almost 6,000 genetic codes have been catalogued. The goal is to increase this figure up to 10,000 species until 2014. Some animal groups have almost been completely registered. 
The further the inventory advances, the more difficult it becomes, even for specialists, to find the still missing species. Even though the data bank will make it easier to classify species, it will not in any case make the experts of species unnecessary. For many years to come, it will remain our task to implement the rare and very rare species into this catalog. On the other hand, only experts know where to find these species in the field. That is something this catalog can't do. It can facilitate the identification process, but to establish the correlation with a specific ecology, which is the crucial task behind this, is reserved for the time being and actually forever to the expert. Only what we know about, we can protect. Therefore, the barcoding Fauna Bavarica project contributes to preserve the nature of Bavaria in all its diversity. Mm -hmm.